We are close to the time when we will walk with robots every day. In Beijing, China, the World Robot Conference 2025 just gave us a preview of that future. According to a report from Al Jazeera, more than 200 companies showcased their newest creation in artificial intelligence and robotics. But the highlight was the first ever World Humanoid Robot Games, also called the Robot Olympics. For three days, over 500 robot humanoids took part from 16 countries, competed in races, football matches, table tennis, and even boxing. They also performed practical tasks like sorting medicines and cleaning, skills that could be one day served in hospitals and homes. Many robots stumbled, fell, or crashed mid-competition, but when some managed to stand back up by themselves, the crowd cheered. These moments showed just how far robotics has come and how much further it still has to go. One of the most exciting spectacles was robot boxing, which looked like a real-life version of movie Real Steel. It wasn't fast or smooth, but audience loved it because it felt like science fiction turning into reality. Tickets ranged from about 18 to 80 US dollars and the thousands of people filled the stadium to watch. But behind the entertainment was a bigger message. For China, this was a way to show the world its ambition. In 2025 alone, China invested more than 100 billion US dollars into artificial intelligence and robotics, aiming to become a global leader. The global robotics industry itself is racing forward and could be worth up to $5 trillion in the near future. Events like this are not just fun, they are also real test of how robots perform outside laboratories in public and under pressure. Yes, the robots still look clumsy today. They fall, they trip and sometimes collapse. But think back to early smartphones 20 years ago, big, heavy and slow. Now they are powerful tools we can't live without. In the same way today, awkward robots could become tomorrow's everyday helpers in factories, homes and hospitals. This conference showed us two things. First, robotics technology is still young, but second, progress is moving faster than many people think. The big question is, when robots are finally strong, smart and safe enough to live and work beside us, how will our life change?